We're going to begin with that shocking lawsuit. A Connecticut family claiming their three daughters were brainwashed into joining a religious cult by teachers and, of course, that guidance counselor at the high school. ABC's Mara Scavacampo here this morning with the latest. Mara? David, good morning. That's right. That suit saying those staff members were teaching some very unorthodox lessons. It was filed by the girls' parents who say those teachers are a danger to other students. On the outside, it's a typical suburban school. But on the inside, a new lawsuit claims four staff members at Avon High School in Connecticut tried to brainwash three sisters, and their parents had no idea. Allegations shocking this quiet community. It came totally out of nowhere. I never would have expected anything like that. The 64-page civil suit filed by a couple identified only as Jane and John Doe claims Spanish teachers Tanya Mastoloni, Rebecca Kessler, Christopher Esposito, and guidance counselor Laura Sullivan preyed on their three daughters, indoctrinating them, quote, into a religious cult that promotes martyrdom and celebrates death, leaving them flat and distant, reclusive, secretive, and non-communicative. Adding, they began speaking in a bizarre new language and cut off all of their communications with the family. Also named in the suit, Avon High School and Wellesley College, which the two older girls have also attended. This case strikes at the heart of the First Amendment, the separation of church and state, can public school teachers use religion to indoctrinate their own students? It seems like it may cross the line if the allegations are proved. We reached out to the teachers named in the suit but have not heard back. But the lawsuit claims Mastoloni injected sorcery into schoolwork and, quote, taught her students to believe in superstition, magic. The family filing the suit says they only found out about the alleged brainwashing when they say Mastoloni began targeting their youngest daughter, now 16. The suit says that girl, quote, broke free, now joining her parents in the claim. Wellesley telling ABC News overnight the college has not been served with a complaint in this matter and has no comment. In a statement, Avon Public School says, quote, we will continue to review the content of the complaint. And at least one of Kessler's former students is standing by her. Nothing strange at all. She's a great teacher. Uh, I really enjoyed her class. Amid claims of a classroom cult. In the lawsuit, the parents say they've had virtually no communication with their two older girls since last summer. The suit seeks unspecified monetary damages. All right, Mara, thanks. thanks. Great to have you with us on thank the holiday you. morning.